and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be doing a little update on the Chaperone, which is a wooden kit from Model Expo that I'm building. It's been a little while since I did an update, but not nearly as bad as it was uh, when I didn't work on it for months. So as you can see, I have part of the deck on. These are going to be painted black, these, these dowels, which are pipes running up from the kitchen. They're going to be painted black, and they're in here to, to help me position the uh, first part of the, what is it, Boil, uh, let's see, main boiler hurricane deck. I had to think about, about it. So this is the hurricane deck, and I don't remember if I showed that there were some issues back here. Let's see. Is that the camera? Yeah, that's the camera. Not sure if it, how well it's going to focus there because that's really close. But back here, I had some issues because I didn't get the um, didn't get the uh, oh wait you know it'd be a good idea if I actually was showing I got it, the uh, OBS in studio mode. But back here, I had some issues because the uh, curve of the um, boiler deck I didn't get the get it down as well as I should have so the walls didn't match up so I ended up with a gap here and the only way to fix it was to do some filling with a couple of pieces of wood in here which is kind of played a little bit of havoc up here but not too bad but uh, so I got this on and I literally set something on here really heavy it is tight it is now very tight down to the um walls of the next deck down and i did some lighting in here and so give me a second i'm going to pause the camera while i get the wire get the plug get it plugged in and you'll see a little bit little bit of the lighting that i did okay so similar to the uh, the uh, main deck, the hurricane deck, I put, I'm putting lighting here where in the actual ship there isn't any. Just looking at that, I think. Yeah, I got the, didn't realize it, but I got the deck over a little bit to the uh, starboard. I had to think about it, port and starboard, but uh, shouldn't affect it overall. Still got to run some, um, some one sixteenth, and I'm not sure if it's one sixteenth or one thirty second posts down here that are going to be used for the railing, but it's actually work looking pretty good. And you can see underneath the stairs right here, and yes, those are very steep stairs. You can see on those stairs that I had to put a little bit of a uh, little piece of wood underneath here otherwise it was floating clear minor mistakes gonna be okay and you see the hole you can see the hole I drilled there in the wall right to the upper right of that door I forgot to put a light in there so I had to put it in after the deck was on let me switch cameras back so that's this deck here, and I actually, once I got it on here, I soldered down through here, th through the hole. Adventures in not catching the wood on fire. <laughs> you know, got some more lights here for the next deck. And my plan is, because this is, the actual design of the model is, this is supposed to be solid all the way across. And then, it's not designed for lighting skylight would go on here and then the roof of the skylight would go on here like that well for me i want light in i'm putting light in and for me it was the the easiest way that i could think of is i'm going to put the lights on here i'm going to glue this down before i glue it on here because the skylight is actually supposed to be glued onto the roof here before it goes on 
it's going to be easier to get everything in place, make sure everything is good by gluing it here. And then I'm going to get the light down below that's going to come out through the windows of the doors and through the skylights once it's in place. And then I've most recently, what I've been working on is getting the lights here for the front. So let me get this in place, get the wiring redone because I'm going to actually run everything off of one off of the power supply. You can see right here, I've got a red and black wire coming up. These wires are not hooked up yet to the uh, main power. That's going to happen after I glue this down. So, you know, let me go and rewire or reconnect the wiring. I'm really happy with the way this is coming together. And you're going to see up in the front, up there, I'm going to show how I've lit the stairs in the front as well. It was a little bit tricky, but it's getting there. So I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I've got the wires hooked up. A little bit interesting on doing it because the, front wire, the wires from the actual very front are a little bit too short to actually reach where the, to where the alligator clips are. So here, again, is the back. And you can see now that all the way up the side of the ship, and it's the same on both sides. The only difference between the sides is there's no stairs on the uh, port side. And they, uh, so there's no extra light there. So they run all the way up to the side of the ship. And in, to include, not that one. Aim this down a little bit, move the camera back. You now see that the stairs here have a light in them and there's light, not the smoke decks. Yeah, see that the uh, smoke stacks go through the floor there. That's actually letting light in. But there's actually lighting in here on both sides and this, when the mast goes in here, it will actually block that light. The lights, you know, it's a little bit brighter than I'd like. Might do something to dim that one light down. But I think it's coming out looking really good. And Actually, I think what it is, is I've got a different kind of light down here than I do up here. But it's, it's coming together. Plan for... The near future is going to be to finish this off, get this glued down, and then go back and actually cut this out with a uh, scalpel. Really going to be close tolerance because this literally right here, let me actually switch back to the other camera. This area right here is where the wires run through, so it's going to be really close to not cut those wires once it's um, once it's glued down. If I do, I'll have to figure out a way to get it reconnected. Let me go ahead and disconnect this really quick. Come out from the power supply. So I don't think, I, I know I didn't go over how I'm doing this. So let me turn this over. And what you can see once I put it on the right camera, what you can see is what I'm actually doing right here. Here's where the wall's going to come through. And so these wires are really close. And what I'm doing is right here where I'm doing where the walls are. And that was a problem I had on the uh, main deck. I'm trenching into the wood so the wires are actually pretty much flush when the, um, when the deck is glued down. So, like I said, just a quick update. Once I get this glued on, it would be it would the ship's going to look like she's most of the way done. Uh, you know, the only thing that's left to do after that is put the, the Texas deck, which the Texas deck is actually the roof of the um, the roof of the dining area that would be in there. They're basically, the roof of the boiler deck. Or no, I'm sorry. The Texas deck is 
Yeah, it's the roof of the boiler deck. The hurricane, it's just a step up from the um, hurricane deck. But, the, where was I going with this? I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I, I was talking about how close it was. To done. It's going to look really close, and getting the Texas deck done, and then the pilot house, that all is going to be great stuff. But the kicker is... Once I get that done, switch cameras again. You can see these holes in the deck. These all have to have a little stanchion in them going up to the next deck so that the rails can be attached. I've still got a bunch of railings to put on down here. It says right in the instructions not to put these in yet because you'll knock them off. And I fully agree with that because that's how I end up picking up the model back to the main view so that's that's just a quick update on the chaperone coming along really well loving this model don't know why i set it aside well i do know why i set it aside for 10 years it was just getting to be a royal pain in the butt but i'm loving it now like and subscribe come on over to hobby time modelers on facebook youtube and discord see what we're doing see see what we're about um, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you on the next video.